I reach the end of the trail, the air is still, and I am a hunter. The hunt has led me to the forgotten edges of this world. Seasons pass, drawing me deeper into the darkness, where I have found the truth. That my redemption is found in ashes. That I must burn away the past to set things right. Once an assassin, now their pursuer. I must destroy those who I once called brother. The air is still, and I am a hunter. I reach the end of the trail, the air is still, and I am a hunter. The hunt has led me to the forgotten edges of this world. Seasons pass, drawing me deeper into the darkness, where I have found the truth. That my redemption is found in ashes. That I must burn away the past to set things right. Once an assassin, now their pursuer. I must destroy those who I once called brother. The air is still, and I am a hunter. I reach the end of the trail, the air is still, and I am a hunter. The hunt has led me to the forgotten edges of this world. Seasons pass, drawing me deeper into the darkness, where I have found the truth. That my redemption is found in ashes. That I must burn away the past to set things right. Once an assassin, now their pursuer. I must destroy those who I once called brother. The air is 
still. And I am a hunter. Once again, I'm Kill David, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And I'm back at you again with another edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Assassin's Creed Rogue. This is going to be gaming live stream walkthrough episode 9. In the previous stream, I encountered Kegowase, and I actually defeated him off stream. And I'm um, zeroing and finding much more that the assassins that I once worked with are doing some sinister stuff I reach on the, the end side of the trail. which would deviate the order. So the air is still. Shea Patrick and Cormac, I, my character, I'm a hunter. is taking them out one by one. The hunt has led me to the forgotten edges of if this world. If you are new to my channel, Seasons pass, drawing me deeper into the, the darkness, where I have found the channel, truth, and hit the notification bell so you know when I'll go that my redemption is found in ashes. Grab a snack, 
that I must burn away the past to set things right. Classic between assassin rogue. Right now on the Night Five Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Here we go. And look at my outfit. Now I look the part of a captain. Captain Cormac. Firstly, I look like Captain Crunch. He looks like Captain Crunch. What do you think? Does he look like Captain Crunch? Type in the chat. You can even hang people in this game using the uh, rope dart. Catch that shanty. Yeah. I want that shanty. Damn it, it got away. I do everything here. I knew you were too much of an idiot to stay out of sight. Down you go. Don't get your hopes up. I'll keep up with you. Oh, there it is. 
down and have to shit. Could not have arrived at a better time, my friend. Punk ass. the coordinates in New York 517 2 minus 227 here today
it's an initiation. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death? Whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Looks like I just got made. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Meanwhile, back at Abstergo. Shay has seen the true face of the world. And he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. <sighs> I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. Woohoo! The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Don't disappoint me like Olivier did. You got it. Don't you want to know what happens next? I do. I really do.
Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agathe out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Mostly Baptiste was killed by the assassin Avelin de Grandpré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. I've got your animus ready and waiting. and put you back to work. Shit. What's happening? Another glitch. Same one as before. Chase back and Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Back into the world. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. You should not have left your backwater colony. Well, I'll return to Boston. In Philadelphia, actually. Oh, so he's a comedian too. Shot him. Damn, that's gangster. Oh, 
bet they need that as a short. Good thing I'm off camera right now. When I'm making shorts, I'm always off camera. You don't, which is why you don't see my work here. Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Stay close to him. Oh yeah, he's my ego with the new one. What up, bitch? Oh. Wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. <laughs> yeah. Popping fuckers in the streets. That's 18th century gangster shit. Doing it quiet too. Everyone is safe and sound. Th these ruffians have followed us. There's more of them. Have got a good line on him. You motherfucker. 
I don't think so. Another one. Hey, fuck you. Oh, damn it. You don't pop Benjamin Franklin? Oh, hell no. You can't hear that. How am I supposed to get electricity? Nobody saw anything. Keep it that way. Everyone is safe and sound. These ruffians have followed us. There's more of them. Flies. I see him. you do that it was quite fortunate i make my own look master franklin as i suspect you do yes indeed my good fellow yet without your assistance today well you have my thanks shay is there anything i can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness actually there is i need to meet a business acquaintance I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac. I hear you are the Templar's new don of Precursor Archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. 
I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti Falls or Lisbon or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the Lueberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the chance. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Heard they mentioned Captain Cook, as in Captain James Cook. He was a famous sea captain, from what I heard. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Tighten the shots up! On your mark, Captain! Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, 
He also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally. Watch what you say around him. Duly noted there. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy... It'll be clear. Take these cannons. Ah! Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. Keep ahead, sir! I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. We Fire! will discover new lands out here. Right. Yep. Sir! 
Raise your voices. Hey, boys. Loose topsails, gallants and royals. As we were fishing off Haysboro Light, when the wind blows, we'll all pull together. Let's go catch a narrow. There he goes! Patience, patience. This one's dangerous!
anything yet? There he is! Starboard bow! Hold fast! Hold tight! Hang on, man! It's a hit! The grand shot, Captain! Hang on, man! Brace, everyone! Brace! No! Dab! Stay sharp, man. No, oh, he's angry, all right. Shit out of me. There he is, starboard bow. Tie it down. Oh, lost it, everyone. They don't see it. This one's dangerous. Forward! Forward! Come on, Captain! 
Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested?
Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His n Go on the cold and dreary morning in December. December. And all of me money it was spent. Spent. And where it went, I swear I can't remember. So down to the shipping office I went. The body lay back. See how my virtual battles are doing. Oh, wow. Right. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, look at that. a lot. Sorry. And I'll hear no more complaints. You're paid to work.
I'll make short work. <laughs> <laughs> What do you be needing today then?
My thanks for your trust, Captain. I'm a Templar. I'm a full-blown, high-ranking Templar. So no, I guess I can recruit now. I can go to taverns and recruit. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second.
ways to go.
You're not some clip twitching pig, are you? Captain's helm! Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cole? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. It makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. And all them flash duties on the pier and the barrels run dry and our five within bands and I guess it's high time for to get up and dance and let us go. Nobody's told them Liverpool duties at Gazin. Oh, to me, Johnny Boker, come rock and roll me over. To me, Johnny Boker, do. Oh, to me, Johnny Boker, the skip boat is a rover. Do me, Johnny Boker, do. Oh, do me, Johnny Boker, the mate is never sober. Do me, Johnny Boker, show roses, oh! Ready, boys? Show me, we are. It's a damn tough life for the toil and strife. We will learn on the call. And we don't give a damn when the 
gale has stopped, how hard the wind did blow. We're homeward bound, kiss the grand old sound on a good ship for pen free. Custom, sir. Could be valuable cargo. When we drink or rum with the girls on old Maui. Rolling down to old Maui.
Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Blum? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause.
What kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then? Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Warship incoming, Captain! Unfurl base! Let's move! Squall, pick it up, Captain! They're firing! Oh, no, 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 What's the cost, Captain? Report! What is that fire? fire. Fire! 
Jesus! Enemies firing! Watch your course, Captain! Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Hood? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Really don't. What service can I provide? My thanks for your trust, Captain. What do you be needing today, then? Run bit of business, that.
nice motherfucker.
Legos, that's Legos, that's a Nigerian. Last hour of the stream.
Captain has, has the helm! The hell. Get the maids free! Like Give us a song, man. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If Navy can take that fort. Helm. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. Get just a shark. Catch one. Never miss such a golden opportunity. Good meat and oil to be speared here, sir. There he goes! Brief it on, Tom. Unlash the harpoons. As we were fishing off Haysboro Light, when the wind blows, we'll all pull together. He's over there! Do you see anything? Dead your head! Hold fast! Here we go! Hang on, man! Be 
felt that. <laughs> Stung him. He stopped the rope. Where is it? Careful now. I I'm reckon going, this man. one could swallow us whole. I don't see it. Brace, everyone. Headed at us. Larboard bow. Brace. One more.
Get the main says into the wind. For sale. All sale. Full sail. Fire.
With what we've taken, we can improve the ship, Captain. Brace yourselves for collision! As we were fishing off Haysboro Line, shoot. Trip two. Come on, spread those sheets. As we were fishing in the haze for all line, shooting and holding and drowning our lives in that windy old way. Loose rain, I'm going for the wind. taking, sir. When the wind blows, it all goes together. And up comes the Harry, the queen of the sea. Says now, old skipper, you cannot catch me in the windy old weather, stormy old weather, when the wind Do me Johnny Poker, come rock and roll me over. Do me Johnny Poker, do. Oh, do me Johnny Poker, the skip on is a rover. Do me Johnny Poker, do. Oh, do me Johnny Poker, the me bunny bunch of roses. Somewhere. Coming on the last half hour of the stream. What's on your mind, Captain?
Grand bit of business, that. I'm supposed to meet up with Captain Cook. These are people in actual history. Alternative, alternative active. Actual history. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and... His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. My dear. And with me he will stay. So get a move on, sailor boy. Get crooked on your way, and it's away you stand in, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the poker? Sight, Mr. Hard and proper, a four of flash men came. And very well, me powering how I know you're a little gay, and it's away you stand in. My dear Annie, oh, you New York girls can't get out of the boat. Boy, Rampy, glad I found me, and to the dogs here. I'll never call another man. Floating cargo for the taking, sir.
to Tiffany's, I took her. I did not buy the fence. I caught a two gold earring, and they cost me 50 cents. And it's the way you send it, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls can she dance the poker. Says she, yet I'm you sailor. Now see me how you may. But when we reached the cottage door, she unto me did say, and it's the way you send it. My dear Annie, oh, you New York girls can she dance the poker. My flashman, he's a Yankee, with his hair cut off behind. He wears a pair of long sea boots, he's supported in the back for line, and it's the way you send it. My dear Annie, oh, you New York girls can she dance the poker. He's we're bound this evening, and with me he will stay. So get a move on, sailor boy, get cracking on your way. And it's a way you sent it, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the poker? Sign, Mr. Harding, proper. And very well, be powering. Glad rags round me and to the dogs did steer. I'll never court another maid, I'll stick to brown. On your mark, Captain! Catch the wind! Boost the mains! Half sails! 
Five minutes of mystery. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second. Oh, this is the. Uh, how far are we? And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. fellow we should welcome in the order then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. 
makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duty knows it. Almost there. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. And on to Quebec to Montreal, Pembroke. The tide is turning. General Wolf will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear we'll take more than that, friend. There she is! The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of War, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real, uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. This wraps up this edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Assassin's Creed Rogue on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. I'll be back tomorrow at the usual time. Until then, I'm killed a bit for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming and please stay safe.